If we let Kiwi disappear from the planet, then we'll disappear. They're an indicator of our own health as human beings. So if the Kiwi are doing well, humans will be doing well. The gully behind us here is the core area of our predator control project, and this is where we're going to release the Kiwi in the very near future. So pretty exciting. Terawiti Station is about 5,000 hectares of land. It's a working farm. It has sheep and beef and uh, has a wind farm. The farm manager and the farm owners are part of our kaupapa. Their land is like a big reserve because the access of things that threaten the kiwi are um, controlled. And the regenerating forest and scrub. It's just perfect kiwi habitat. Look at this gully, man. That's just kiwi heaven. As the kiwi grow in numbers here, they'll spread. We're working with landowners all the way through to Porirua, all the way through to Wellington. 85 to 90% of the project is on private land. And you know, there's no national park, there's no conservation uh, legislation or anything driving the, these folk. They just want to protect the kiwi on their land. The most exciting thing is to have it near the people. In a couple of years, we'll be starting to hear them on the edges of Wellington, literally in our backyards, and that's exciting. We can hear a kiwi down in that gully from here. So you hear a and it's, but of course it's a kilometre away. But when they're right beside you, it's just like 100 decibels. It's incredible. <laughs> Conservation 30 to 40 years ago was all this mythical backcountry. Species always are in the backcountry. The most exciting thing, being part of conservation over that, this period, has been, I couldn't have imagined that we'd be reintroducing kiwi into a space like this. So what I really like is kids that are in conservation coming into it now, they won't imagine what they'll do. Because I couldn't have imagined having kiwi in this place, so close to a city.